Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. Today is Thursday, the 9th of April, I think. I can't check my watch, it's charging. <laughs> but I just took a shower. Look at my nice shower hair. <laughs> but um, it's evening, it's after 7.30. <laughs> but I did film a clip earlier, but I messed it up and uh, I had my hand over the microphone or something, couldn't hear it good, so I just deleted it and we're gonna start over. But um, what, I was gonna, what I said earlier is I didn't make a video yesterday because I was at my in-laws. We had weather, pretty bad weather yesterday um, predicted. Is that what they say? <laughs> we were supposed to get really bad. So um, Devin had to work and um, my father-in-law said that me and Jesse could go over there because they have a storm shelter in case it got bad like it's been getting <laughs> the last uh, month or so here in Tennessee. So we did go over there. Um, we went over there yesterday. At, when Devin was leaving for work, he had to work third shift yesterday. And so we, Devin... Well, his dad came and picked us up at the same time Devin was leaving. And we hung out and we played yesterday in the yard. Jesse played a lot. He was burnt out by the end of the night playing. He had so much fun. And um, it did storm, but it didn't get too bad, thankfully. And then because it didn't get too bad, Devin went ahead and picked us up at 3-something when he got off work. <laughs> so he came by and picked us up. And as soon as we came home, he lives right down the, the road. Like, not even, I don't even think a mile away. <laughs> um, the in-laws. So, I mean, because Devin was at work. But anyways, we went, me and Jesse went straight to bed. And, uh, you know, now it's today. <laughs> but um, I had to go to the post office today because I have two packages that were ready for pickup. And I'm supposed to have three more on Saturday. And I didn't want to have to go and get five packages um, and come in and out of the post office a bunch of times. So I thought I'd come today. And then I'm going to go Saturday before they close. They open only to noon on Saturday. But I also have to go that morning, Wednesday, or Saturday morning, to pick up groceries. Uh, so I thought, you know, I'm going to be out of the house anyways. I can go pick up the rest of the packages. Well, all that to say, <laughs> this is what I worked on. Uh, when I went to my in-laws, I knew we'd be there for a while. So I took um, one of my project bags with, I took some cotton yarn, my, all my hooks. And then I took my some knit crate yarn that I've had since last year. It's this. I can't remember the colorway. I'll have to look it up. If I can remember to do that, I'll pop it up. But I know that it's, I think it's Knitology. And it's um, Bouncy Worsted or something like that. It's worsted weight yarn. I had two balls of it while well, they were Hank's. Um, from last year, one of the months that I got Knit Crate. And I just love this color, it's so beautiful. I was wanting to make some kind of top with it. And actually at my in-laws, I did start a top, but I couldn't get the pattern to come out right. So I kept being frustrated with it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna make something mindless since I'm gonna be at my in-laws setting for a while. Me and Jesse didn't go to bed till 11 something that, that night. And then I didn't sleep good because it was storming. And I was, you know, all the tornadoes that's been happening, I was a little scared. So I, uh, I kept eye on the weather and, um, Jesse slept, but I was working on this shawl. Anyways, point of the story is I started a one ball shawl. <laughs> this is technically gonna be a two ball shawl because I'm, I'm using both hanks of that yarn. And I think it's, uh, they were each 180 um, yards. So that's what, 360 yards altogether. So that's like a little bit bigger than a Red Heart Super Saver skein. Um, but anyways, I started it and it's the one ball shawl, which I made recently we also nicknamed it i started it and then it caught on <laughs> the z shawl because z started she made one in these really pretty red heart super saver stripes and then i made one almost just like hers but different stripe um colorways in different ways and then other people started making them and now we all call them the z shawl so this is the z shawl <laughs> one ball shawl and i'll link the pattern below it's a free pattern and it's super quick it's literally one row that you repeat over and over and over until it, you either run out of your yarn or you um get it the size you want so i used one whole ball so far in it let's see here which one of these is first this is where the first ball ran out and then uh, just up the row a little bit there was a weird cut in my ply like two of the plies was cut or something this is this is only a two ply yarn one of the plies is cut and um so i just snipped that little is like that long of a piece out and reattached so that's why i got four ends right there so i am working on the second ball just started it not not very much a couple of rows so it's not going to get too much bigger because you know the rows are bigger now but it's still going to be a good size for wearing like that because it's already like a cowl so i just need to get a little bit longer by the time i use the rest of that yarn it'll be long enough to fit that way good hopefully <laughs> i just love these colors it's probably not coming out that great because it's evening and i'm using my light and this is the only room in the house that still has yellow light bulbs because they have little weird light bulbs in a ceiling fan and i can't find the same bulbs 
at Walmart to replace them with the daylight ones, which is the ones I prefer, the white light ones. And I haven't looked at Lowe's and now I can't because of everything. <laughs> but yeah, so super simple. All you need to know how to do to make this shawl is double crochet and chains. And that's all you do pretty much the whole time. It's really cool. It increases on all three of the points. So on both of the ends it increases and then on the bottom point it increases. So that's how it gets bigger and bigger. And I love it. It's super easy and mindless. And I put a whole ball in it since yesterday evening. And then I'm going to, I plan on working on it some more tonight. Super quick. And I know this is a lot of shawls. I've made a lot of shawls lately. But um, with all the stress that's going on, I don't really have the mental capacity to focus on detailed things. And I don't really have the, the oomph to plan ahead. <laughs> I don't want that to sound bad, but you know, I don't know how things are going to go in the next few months. And, um, I was thinking today, well, I can start working on fair projects, but I don't want to put all this time and effort in fair projects if our fair ends up being canceled this year because of everything that's going on. So I'm just working on random things to keep myself occupied and, uh, it's working so far and I've been enjoying it. I enjoyed making that other where is it? that pink shawl that I made the other day, the one with French. I really love that, and I kind of wanted to make another one of those, and I might still. I don't know, but uh, and I'm enjoying this one a lot. I love these colors, and this yarn is really soft, and it's not wool. I don't think. If it is, it must be super wash or something, because it's really soft and nice. I'll, I'll look it up and pop it up, because um, I don't have the ball bands. I have no idea where they're at. But yeah, so I've started and we're ripped out so many projects with this yarn. I couldn't find what I wanted it to be, so. Apparently it wanted to be a shawl, <laughs> and it's getting there. I think this would be so pretty uh, with a lot of colors because it's a good colorway that it would go good with light colors and dark colors. So uh, it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful, and it's living in my my yarn bowl that was gifted to me by Becky. The first one she ended up sending me two of them. This one I use a lot because it's small, but the other one that she gave me is big, so it's good for when I have like a big Red Heart Super Saver skein that I round up. But then, like, I use that one, and then I'll switch to this one when it gets smaller. But yeah, so that's the shawl that I'm working on. Again. And I know I haven't made any No Catch Name episodes, but I plan on making one soon. I just haven't had the off to. So now I want to talk about tomorrow is Good Friday. Devin's going to be off work um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because of the holiday. And he's supposed to go back to work next week, so that's good. <laughs> Jesse, come here, Bubba. Bring your guitar and come here. Jesse got a happy mail today too, and he got a gift from another viewer who's on here. <laughs> Hi, Amy. She sent Jesse a gift. Come here, show your gift. You got clothes on? Oh, hold on. Let me move it down. Is that what you got in the mail today? Mm -hmm. You got a guitar. That's so cool. Now you just like mm -hmm. Daddy and Paul. Be careful with it. Do you love it? Mm-hmm. 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 Hey, did you eat your brownie? Maybe we'll Go eat the rest of it, okay? Don't leave it laying in there. Anyways, that was his happy mouse. So thank you so much, Amy. He loves it. And Devin yeah, and... Good job! Devin and his dad are musicians. They both play guitar. His dad plays more bass than regular guitar. Devin plays more regular guitar. But, um... So I knew it was inevitable. Jesse's eventually going to learn. But yeah. So anyways... Thank you so much for that. I got some other Happy Mail. One, two of these are from the same person, but I got them on different days. And I just haven't shown the first one, a postcard, because um, I haven't made a video, I, like a No Catch Your Name episode, <laughs> since I got it. But she sent me, it's Erica, she sends me postcards and stuff all the time, which is really cool. I love getting snail mail. But she said that she saw this and it reminded her of me. And um, I, I think that's so sweet. And it, it's just a postcard. I'll show you and then I'll read it. And it says, her great, her greatest power is believing in herself. And I think that's so sweet. And that helps a lot, especially with like my weight loss journey and all that. Um, yeah, I don't want to cry. But I'm going to hang that up now that I showed it to you guys. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to wait and make a No Kitchen episode and then I'll hang it up. But that's one. That's from Erica. I already said that. She lives in Texas, I think. No, New Jersey. Why did I say Texas? Oh, the other gift is from Texas. I'll show you that in just a second. I get the places mixed up, but it's okay. Okay, right, then this one is my very first Easter card this year. Did I get any last year? I'm sure I did. My my cards from last year are hanging on that wall, but my laundry is in front of it, so I can't ever see it. But this is also from Erica. She's in this really pretty tulip Easter card. And it came in a yellow envelope, which is pretty. And see, we got a flower stamp. 
I don't know what kind of flower that is. But thank you so much, Erica, for your cards. And actually, I have some cards that I got in the mail recently for donating to the veterans or something like that. I can't remember. So I will send you one of those. They're not going to be Eastery, but they're going to be more patriotic. <laughs> I think they're all patriotic themed ones. But yeah. All right. My, my gift that I got for me today came from Amy. Or not Amy. I done said Amy. <laughs> Amy. Amy Guitar. See, I'm, I'm more confused. This one came from Linda. She messaged me Monday and said that, um, that she ordered me something and sent it from the company to me and she wanted to let me know you know that it was from her because it would show up and it wouldn't say who it's from you know it'd say the company name and the company name in case you're interested is called sharp sewing supplies and um i guess they're got all kinds of sewing stuff i don't know i'll go check them out but it's uh it's in los angeles california but anyway she sent me this and this is so sweet <laughs> she sent me i guess i had talked about not having big hooks at some point or something I don't know I'm trying to hold these like a hand of cards okay I'm not gonna be able to do that she sent me clover and moors is that what they're called yes <laughs> and it's all the big sizes let's see here it's k and then a seven millimeter that doesn't have a name I don't know why they made that they should have made that l but anyways k k and a half <laughs> l m and n and they're all the clover moors with the handles this is so cool. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't even think I have an N hook at all or M. I don't even think I have an L. <laughs> I know I have some K's because my Susan Bate K's are green. And I don't know if I have a 7. I don't know. But I'm excited to rip these open and try them. I haven't even opened them yet because I wanted to share them with you guys. But uh, I'm super excited about it. So thank you so much for that gift. And um, it's just it's so awesome. You people are just so awesome. All of you guys are. And uh, just for you to, to see and just say okay i'm just gonna send her this stuff you know it's just so sweet and i love that all of us in this community are like that to each other and that um you know it's just random act of kindnesses and it helps perk up people especially now with everything going on the way it is in the world but i absolutely love the l because it's pink <laughs> actually they're all really pretty they're all kind of like bright colors because there's bright green yellow pink uh, orange and purple so yeah now I'm gonna rip these open when I'm done filming this and get them in my hook case I want to see what they feel like I'm gonna open one now oh yeah it's gonna be so nice working with it Yay, that's so exciting look I opened it without ripping it to pieces <laughs> thank you so much though I appreciate it so much all right I am getting more packages um, Saturday. I know who two of them are from, but I'm not sure about the third one. Oh, well, I'll share them when I get them. So, like I said, uh, tomorrow is Good Friday, and so Devin will be off, and the weather's supposed to be nice Friday and Saturday. Sunday, I think it's supposed to rain, which stinks, but it always rains on Easter here, like, without fail. <laughs> and, um, so we'll probably do Jesse's little egg hunt in our yard here on sun uh, Saturday, and I think Devin's dad is cooking Easter dinner on Sunday, so we'll go get us some food from him. And uh, I don't know what else we're gonna do. I know at, probably tomorrow I'm gonna have Devin take Jesse outside to play or something, so that I can record those two dishcloths patterns. And then I'll probably put one out tomorrow evening, and then the other one out Saturday or Sunday whenever I get it edited and up. And uh, I'll also top up the pattern in written, so that um, anyone who doesn't want to follow the video, they can just you know download the written thing i'll put the i'll put the written in the description of those videos and plus i will make a pdf and put it on the facebook group so if you're not a member of the facebook group go check that out and join and then you can download all the free patterns i have over there i have quite a few now over there it's like five or six maybe i just put little random free patterns <laughs> in the files every now and then that i make and uh yeah i, I do want to design some more amigurumi i actually have one like 99 percent done i just haven't had the to want to finish it and top it up and all that but I need to get it finished because it's, it's kind of it's not really a spring theme thing but it's kind of spring themey I don't know <laughs> but I need to get it done and just go ahead and get it up and out and yeah uh, I don't know I guess that's everything I have to talk about tonight I'm tired I didn't sleep good last night and then even after we got home uh, you know it was three something in the morning I was still didn't really sleep that good I woke up a lot I think all the um, the storms we've been having has just made me more scared of storms. Normally, I love thunderstorms, 
And uh, it's just with all the tornadoes, though, that's been hitting our area and getting closer and closer to us, it's, it's scarier. This is, like, the worst year so far. <laughs> like, I don't even know. I, I, I can't wait for the day when we look back and are like, oh, man, you remember blah, blah, blah in 2020 when, you know, the coronavirus and all those tornadoes and all this stuff happened. I'm, I'm looking so forward to that being past tense and us, you know, looking back on it and remembering it instead of living it because this year so far has just been really rough on everybody and it's, it sucks. I'm ready for the this, this silver lining to like show up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess that's everything. I'm gonna open up my rest of my new hooks and play with them and figure out what I wanna make with them because I need to make something with these big hooks. And um, I wanna use the ale, it's so pretty. <laughs> I love pink, pink's my favorite color, I think. But yeah, uh, I'm going to vlog, I think, maybe this weekend on the other channel. i got some more seedlings popping up that I'm going to share with you guys. And I'm excited about everything to do with plants. Uh, I mean, Devin mentioned doing something about our plants, but I can't remember now what he said. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll vlog on the other channel and we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll all see. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.